Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I'm going to be showing you fun things you can do with magazines because a lot of people that watch me may not have access to stationery or can't buy it. Uh, so magazines are a great way to get cool images and to create items for your journal spreads or for scrapbooking. So I'm just going to show you what I cut out, uh, ways that you can use them, and just things that I've done with the pieces that I cut out and, and found. But one of my favorite magazines to go through to find images are quilt magazines. I love these. You get super, super cool patterns. I didn't get to cut through all of them. I just cut out through the best ones. But look at how pretty this is. Maybe you can, you know, it looks very big. Like if you cut this whole piece, maybe it looks too much. But if you just look up close and just look at this image, it's very, very pretty. So I have my circle cut out here. Maybe you can cut out like a circle or maybe cut it out, just this image, and make a stamp out of it. So those are things that you can do. But I love magazines. You can get super cool magazines. But I love quilt magazines. And I also love vintage ones or, or ones that are about like singers from like the 80s so those are really cool because the images are in black and white and they look very vintage and retro-y uh so i'm gonna show you what you can cut out but these are all super cool images look at how pretty this is maybe you can turn this little purple square into a stamp you have this blue one here but i'm just gonna cut through one of them this would look really cute as like a stamp but I'm going to show you what images I got, what I cut out, and you're able to get like super creative. For instance, I made stamps out of images that I found from the magazines. I absolutely love the way that this one came out. This is an image from the quilt magazine. What other ones? Oh, I love the way that this came out. And I've been kind of obsessed with like sewing things. I love the look of when you sew something. So I did that with this one and that just looks so pretty. This will look cute with like, like as a maybe book cover or like in a journal spread. But here's another one. I made a journal spread with one of those stamps that I sewed. I made like kind of, it's more girly than, it's girlier than I'm used to doing. But this was one of the stamps that I made and it came out really, really cute. So I have all of these really cool stamps. I got these flower ones. This was from, I think, the quilt magazine as well. But this looks really, really pretty. And then I put a, another stamp down here, like this calligraphy one. And I just thought that looked really, really cute. Oh, this was one of my favorite ones. I love this one. Oh, what's her name? Sarah Jessica Parker. I love the way that this stamp, this stamp came out. And I'm going to do a journal spread later in this video, probably using this because this is just so pretty. I love the way that this stamp here came out. It's just gorgeous. I love the way that came out. And um, But yeah, these are all the stamps that I did. You, that's one thing you can do with magazine cutouts. I got these playing cards and I made these really cool collage things maybe you can use this like as a cover for your journal or maybe just put into your journal like I'm um, I'm getting into like making pre-made collage stuff like this so that I can just put into my journal like sometimes you know just to stick in there because this just looks really pretty and this is this is Jimmy Buffett that's from one of the magazines that I have from him this is the magazine that I used but you have all of these super cool black and white images that just look very vintagey and i absolutely loved it and i had so much fun cutting out images from this magazine but look how pretty that looks i love i'm gonna cut this one up after but this one looks really cool but there's so many images look how, oh i just dropped all of my circles but look how cute that is i love these magazines so i cut those out i cut them out and i just added him to this playing card and i did this vintage retro thing uh same as this one came out really really cute so if you get really cool magazine you can find really cool images i got this pouch and i already stored away all the images that i found these are ones that i cut up yesterday but i have so many and i'm so excited to just make journal spreads and just do crafts with this but these are a lot of images that i cut out these 
This one's from a Rocky magazine. Uh, I think this is The Sopranos. But I have so many cool images that I cut out. And I'm so excited to use them. So I'm going to do a journal spread in a bit just to show you, you know, that you can create cool stuff with, with just journal cutouts. Love that image. Got Queen. Look how pretty this one is. It's kind of like watercolor, but that's really pretty. I got these princess images as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's not really my style, but these are so cute. A little puppy. I'm well, not a puppy, but... <laughs> I thought this was cool. Taylor Swift. I like that image. But these are all the images that I got. And I just stored them away in here. I just got this. That way I can actually see what's in the pouch. Another thing you can do is cut out really cool pattern images. Paper pad from craft stores can be expensive. They can be between like 10 to $20, maybe $30. So this is from the quilt magazine. Look at how cool this this looks i love this one i really want to do something with this one but i don't know yet because this looks so pretty just by itself it's upside down but it's so pretty i love that love all the different patterns i cut these out from the quilt magazine as well there are these flowers and i really like the way that this looks and i already had in my mind what i wanted to do with this so look how pretty these flowers are they're really really cute and i love this image over here this is really pretty pattern paper. I love it. There's so there's so many things that you can do. There's this other one here. Like this is this is gorgeous. This is really pretty. That is absolutely beautiful. Also, where was this from? I believe this was from I think this is from Rocky. Yeah, this one's from the Rocky magazine, but it was just this page that was like this just with writing this is really really cool i love the way that this looks this will look really pretty as like a backdrop or if i put i don't know some images on it i don't know but you can do really cool things with that i also cut out this image i like this this is philly because i think rocky was filmed in philadelphia right correct me if i'm wrong but i like the way that this looks with a you know maybe a big quote and I don't know, just really cool things that you can do. What else did I find? I found like this vintage -y section in the book, in the magazine. So I cut that out. It looks distressed at the edges. So that looks really cool. So yeah, that's another thing that you can do. Just cut out things to have as like your scrapbooking paper like this is so pretty and i love the way i don't even know what i want to do do with this because it looks just so pretty the way it is but i'm sure i'll come up with something some other cute images i found like this flower so there's so much you can do i love flipping through magazines that's one thing i like to do just to relax just go through magazines and cut up images you know watch some youtube in the back and just have fun another thing you can do is cut out circle images I think this was from a quilt magazine as well. You can tell I really love those magazines. But you can get really cool circle images. And then have that for your journal spreads. Or make them into buttons. Or I don't know what you would do. I, I don't really use these for journal spreads. I use them to like, you know, make closures. So yeah, I get these really cool ones. I love this one. It's like a, a map. So that's really pretty. Also, if you want to know how to make stamps, I already made a video on how you can make these stamps. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link up there. Okay, so here this looks really pretty. So I'm going to get my cardstock paper. Okay, so I have my cardstock paper here and I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm going to get my hole puncher and I like this because you can see where you're cutting sometimes i like to do it like this because i think that looks really pretty like the two designs together so i have this circle here and sometimes i like to paint the edges so you can do whatever you like so i like to do those circles you know now you have these cute things maybe you want to do um maybe you want to create paper clips out of these i like to do that sometimes as well you know sometimes i like to make cute paper clips and you can 
glue it like hot glue it to this and then you have this really cute paper clip so you can just create really cute ephemera out of out of magazine cutouts oh i like that little butterfly here this flower looks really pretty here you have this really cute floral one that looks really cute and then once i ink the edges it looks really pretty and i'm going to just set everything aside and we're going to make a journal spread out of everything i cut out okay you guys so i have my journals here and i don't know if i should journal in my bigger one or in the small one maybe maybe this one i already made some journal spreads i've put this in my story so let's begin so i'm gonna get some of my cutouts i like to have a main focal point so i don't know what that'll be actually there was an image here that i really liked i thought was really cool let's see if i could find it i really like that one okay i found the image so this is the image that i wanted to use i really like the way that looks i don't know i like the colors and everything it looks really fun okay, so i'm gonna use that i'm going to use this paper so this is gonna be my focal point. Or is it too small? I don't know, um, we'll see how this goes. my journal spread i like the way it came out it's not too much it's simple uh so yeah i'm finished with this one uh, i want to do another one because i've been wanting to do it i want to do it in this journal though because i really 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 want to use that stamp that i loved of sarah jessica parker okay so here it is uh i absolutely love the way that looks and sometimes, you know, with stamps and things like that, and for instance, this, I like to make them just to stick them in here, just to add in into my journal. You know, I can do the same thing with this. Like, it just looks pretty like this. It doesn't need anything else. Okay, so I don't know. I like the way it came out. It's simple. It says soaring like a star. And I just put some pink dots. And because I used this page, I just got this stamp that I made. And I just put it here. I like the way that these are by itself. It was a bit too much like this. But I like it by itself. So I just put it there. Just just because. Or I could always just put this here. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a journal spread out of this. I don't know, I really want to use this as like a backdrop and kind of do, I don't know, something different. So I'm going to see how this goes. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so I'm done with this journal spread and this is very different. I've never done a spread like this on my channel. It's very simple. I just put a backdrop and I just put a focal point in the middle and that's it with a quote and some stickers. And I think this is my favorite journal spread I did in this video, but I love the way it came out. I this the backdrop and this image were from magazines, so I just put the background and I love the way that it's like blurry and then you have this that's like the focal point. I put these cute little gold corner stickers and then just some stars and I put this quote that just says the happiest moment and I love the way it came out and it's my favorite one so I made this journal spread I love th this section uh I don't know how like this corner here and like this I'm not sure now but I love these three items <laughs> like this I love the way this one came out and then this one which came out super cute too but I'm just gonna clear everything off my desk and now I'm going to talk about the giveaway. Okay, so I'm going to be having two giveaway winners. Also, thank you guys so much for 100K. That's insane. Thank you all for the support, for watching my videos, for commenting and liking. But I wanna do a giveaway. So they're both pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna show you. The giveaway will come with um, a 24 pack gel pen. This is what it is. Some color pencils from UB. I do like this brand. Some dual tip brush and fine tip marker set. So you have all these colors. This really cute UB journal. This is more lined paper. I couldn't find um, like blank paper, but that's fine. Um, and some magazines. So these are some some of my favorite magazines. I love the images in this. There's this Lord of the Rings one, the Royals. There's really cool photos in this one and the quilting one. Love the quilting one. You guys know that. So that's what the giveaway is going to be. And I'm going to do this giveaway. It'll end next Friday. And all you have to do is head over to my Instagram. Make sure you're following my Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Head over to my Instagram and go to this video and just comment, I don't know. So just comment a pink and red heart and that's pretty much it. You guys can say hi, but just make sure you comment a pink or red heart and that's basically it. Make sure you're, you're following my Instagram, you're subscribed to my channel and then just comment on that video a pink and red heart. And that's pretty much it for the, the giveaway. So I wish you all luck. I'm having two giveaway winners and this giveaway ends next Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some ideas on what you can do with magazines. You know, you can cut out really cool things and create really cool ephemera or embellishments or journal spreads. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.